Welcome to Ukenic. In this video, we're going to explain the difference between stored and current fault codes. So let's say you have run a scan on your vehicle. The first thing that we recommend doing is hitting save, either emailing this report to yourself or someone, or at the minimum hit save. Okay, so that will save the report on the scanner. You can pull these codes up and this report at a later time. If you look at any of these control units, you might see that you have codes that say stored and then some of them will say current like in this system in this case right here if you go to and you can enter any of the control units uh, you don't have to if you can hit report go to the bottom and then at the bottom you have a list of all the codes that are on the car now if the car has not been scanned for a long time and codes have not been erased in a really long time you're going to have a list of a lot of codes uh, this is pretty normal pretty nothing to be afraid or scared of so in a case like this you're going to see codes that say uh will say stored they might say current they might say stored and current so what's the difference so let's say these uh let's first focus on the codes that say stored let's say for example on this vehicle um, in the past they had a bad ABS wheel speed sensor but uh, you replaced it and now you have a code that says stored that code um, was an issue in the past you have fixed it it's no longer an issue uh, another case where you might have a code that says stored um, or like stored event uh, which might have just happened just once is let's say your battery dies when your battery dies it's pretty common in these uh, modern cars to trigger a number of fault codes because a lot of the systems just shut down if the voltage drops between 9.6 9.5 volt a lot of control units will trigger will just start a malfunction through a lot of different codes sometimes the code might say low voltage but in in some other cases it just might be an issue it won't communicate with the sensor or some things we have a case right here under voltage supply stored so and another one uh, terminal 30 under voltage so these uh, they say stored they happen in the past they're not an issue right now and you can typically clear those the only times that a code that's stored might be helpful is if you are dealing with a really challenging issue with a problem that's intermittent that happens and then you know let's say you take the car to the mechanic or the dealer and they try to duplicate that and it doesn't do it for them um, a lot of times it will have a code in there that says stored and it might not be a direct code to whatever is malfunctioning but it will be a code that will hint you in that direction so typically that's why you need those store codes nine out of ten you don't have to worry about them you can just hit clear and if you do have to worry about it on those really rare cases that's why you save the report so you can come back and go to under my account and PDF reports and pull this report at a later time so you can kind of connect the dots now we have a problem um, you have codes that say stored and, cor and current um, this is pretty common um, so for example in this case this issue happened in the past it's still happening right now so if you try to clear that code is not going to clear this last one stored and current right there so let's look at some other ones some will just say current they were just detected you have this right here um, low temperature circuit has a short circuit to positive it says current because it was just detected if it was detected let's say yesterday and then it's still detected today well yesterday it will be just a store code that was from the past and it's still being detected it's still an issue so you have stored and current so that's what that is so um, this one that says current you know it's happening right now um, it didn't detect it in the past but it's definitely detected right now those codes can be cleared when you do clear them or when you do try to clear them most of the time they'll return as soon as you cycle the ignition off there is certain codes like let's say if you have an evap leak a very small leak uh, uh, it's, an issue like that it could take two three or even one day of a uh, one whole week of driving for that code to come back up um, there's a few other codes oxygen sensor for example or calic converter um, 
performance below efficiency for example that could take a few days I maybe mean, sometimes even a couple of weeks for for the car to really determine that hey the catalytic converter is not performing the way that it should but a lot of the codes if they're not fixed they cannot be cleared now uh, the other thing to keep in mind is while codes that are in the engine control unit if you fix the problem you drive the car for a couple of days they usually reset car keeps checking that system and resets on its own other systems like the airbag typically will not uh, clear on its own in this case we don't have a full code but let's say we had a code there and it was open circuit to the clock spring or the driver's airbag and you replace that clock spring and, and everything is put together well the airbag light typically won't clear on its own but you have to come in here and clear that code the status will change from current for example for that code and after you fix it it'll change to stored then you can clear that code and reset the airbag light um, so keep that in mind there is it depends on the system which ones will get rid like abs for example will once you fix the issue um you can use the scanner to to clear the codes but those reset on its own on their own uh so let's uh, go back here though uh staying on the uh, the codes issue let's go back so this is where the report that has everything let's go back and then what we're gonna do in this case I'm gonna hit a race and this is gonna go through all the control units what it's going to do is gonna clear all the codes that show us stored um, the current one it will still send that clear command but typically that will just those codes will return so here it's a stored event uh, for the transmission this should go away on the engine control unit most of these codes will go away but as you can see there's a couple that say current those are not going to clear that will return so we'll still have a couple full codes there instrument cluster they, there is a couple of current full codes but the store ones will clear so I'm gonna hit a raise press yes and then it's doing the clearing once this a scan a scanning is going through every single control unit and uh, clearing the codes a lot of times um, you might have to repeat this a couple of times and ideally when you do this you do need to have a fully charged battery and you want to do it with the ignition uh, on but the engine not running I when we first started this I started that with the engine running so I didn't really clear the faults from the engine control unit as you can see um, but we're gonna come back and, and clear the codes just from that um, once it's done with a whole scanning you need to turn off the ignition with 10 seconds and then turn it back on again at that point you can run the, the erase command one more time as you can see most of these control units now have no codes they are being cleared because they just had codes that were stored and you can see here let's go so we're going to give this a, a few seconds to go through each one and then we're going to come back and then we're going to re-clear the codes from the engine control unit when we first started it we did it with the engine running and it definitely with the engine control unit you shouldn't have the engine running ignition does need to be on though uh, for the engine control unit and all those other codes the only thing to keep in mind is that as you are working on your car uh, make sure you're not draining the battery too much if you're under 12 volt um, it can be causing issues the car might not start for you later and the other issue is that um, if it drops way too low, then you're re-triggering a bunch of low fault codes and things like that, low voltage fault codes, and you have to, you know, charge your battery and then come back and rescan and clear. So it's a good idea to keep uh, a backup source or at least keep that car running um, as much as you can. And that's all. Let's give it a few seconds and then I'll show you how we're going to re-clear that the full code from the engine control unit. So here the scanning is done. Most full codes did clear. Now some of them might return when we restart the vehicles. And this one didn't even clear in the AC because it shows it's showing as current. Um, but if when you restart the car and drive it, 
Like I said earlier, some of them will return right away. They're not addressed. Some of them might take a couple of days to return. The ones that were current, the ones that were stored more, likely won't return. Majority of them will not return. But here in the engine control unit, uh, these did not clear. So what we can do is enter that control unit. And the reason why these didn't clear is because I had an engine running when I first started the race all. But if I come here, read codes. Now that we enter the engine control unit, we're going to see all those codes that are stored, stored. So I'm going to hit erase, press yes, close cleared. I need to cycle the ignition off. Wait 10 seconds. Cycle the ignition back on, press yes. And the majority of these full codes should be gone. But the ones that are current, they need to be addressed before we can clear them. And the other thing to keep in mind is that just because full code is current, it does mean there is an issue. It doesn't always mean it's going to trigger your check engine light, for example. Um, or even check any other lights on the dash. So you might have issues that need to be addressed, but, um, uh, but they don't trigger a warning light on the dash. So you can see here all the codes that were stored are clear. Uh, the only codes that are left are the ones that are current that need to be addressed. And that's all. Thank you for watching the mechanic where you can be the mechanic.